Hi everyone, this is my weekly Twin Flame Soulmate reading. Um, this one is, is for the men or for those in masculine energy. Um, don't get too caught up on semantics. It's just, when I say masculine energy, you know, it, it's it's most likely for men, but but it could be um, if you're, you know, a lesbian couple, then it's just whoever is in masculine energy. Um, or if you're transgender and you identify as both male and female, then it's just whatever um, energy you're resonating with more currently. So so don't get too caught up on semantics. It, it's just, um, just, just whatever energy you're resonating with. Don't overthink it. So I'm going to look into what the divine feminines are, what they're going through right now, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, um, what they're wanting. And this is for April 22nd to April 29th. So we're going to look into, into the feminines. I just posted another video too um, for um, channeling the masculines and, and seeing what they're going through. So I'm probably going to do, I'm going to try to do um, one of these videos every week where I, I do one for the, the feminine energy and one for the masculine energy. So I think it's kind of unfair that, that the men don't really have a whole lot of support on YouTube. It seems like they... Seems like most readings are um, aimed towards women, so so I wanted to, to come on and help with that and, and start giving the men some clarity and guidance too, you know? They need it just as much as we do. Okay. I'm a new reader on here too, so if you'd like to book a private reading from me, um, you can check out my prices and my, my PayPal info below, and also I have my email address, so feel free to if you have questions regarding my readings or if you have um, just any questions or comments, feel free to, to message me. Okay, let's look into this. April 22nd through the 29th, what are the feminines going through? What do what do they want? Um, for those in masculine energy that are watching this video, what, what do your feminines want you to know about what's going on in their life over the next week? What do your feminines want you to know about what's going on in their life over the next week? I think the, the main message I'm getting, I mean, this is, this is, you know, per, speaking from personal experience and also just talking to other, other um, women in this situation and um, and channeling as well. So, you know, when I, when I discuss, sometimes it seems like I'm just blabbing, but I'm, I also, ch I channel primarily. I channel more than I use the cards. So, so when I channel, I mean, when I'm, when I'm, you know, blabbing, I'm actually channeling. So, so it is, you know, these, these are from, you know, the spirits of your feminist and, and from other feminines as well. So um, one of the biggest messages I'm, I'm getting and feeling is, is just that it's time. I, I feel like there was, I don't want to say a lot of con well maybe for some of you because I'm getting conflict for some of you maybe you maybe you guys had arguments or there was some some chaos or just separation or emotional unavailability or something or something of that sort and and so I'm getting for a lot of you it's just your feminine just wants you to know it's time um what I've been channeling and picking up for the feminines is is that basically I think many of us are are waiting for our twin flames right now their twin flame communication is is very strong right now um especially with the with the, the full pink moon that just happened on the 19th you know telepathic communication is, is strong we're getting a lot of downloads um we're just you know we're we're communicating in our dreams we're we're you know trying to, to send you messages of healing and love and support and and I know um in the last video I was talking about how the masculine is, is finally in a vulnerable space you know you guys have worked really hard to um to get there you guys have worked really hard to to get to this place where you're past societal condition conditioning and and you're doing the healing work and you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable finally which is a really huge step for the masculines um because you know like six months ago you, you guys were so in in this pride and fear and ego and and so in so much denial about this connection that um that I think it was is really hard for you to, to accept those feelings and embrace those feelings. And and the past week or so, I'm channeling a lot of masculines crying and and being nostalgic and and missing their their feminine um, counterpart. And and so, you know, it's a really huge step forward that you guys are allowing yourselves to heal and and cry and um 
and be vulnerable. You know, many of you just had these these tower moments that probably just felt chaotic and unnecessary, um, especially in March with Mercury retrograde. I feel like a lot of you went through some pretty huge shifts where, um, you know, you might have lost a job, you might have lost a home, you might have lost um, a karmic relationship. Um, and it probably just just seemed like chaos out of nowhere, but but you know it was the divine, um, the gods and goddesses, the angels, your spirit guides, um, pushing you out of this stagnant energy, pushing you towards growth, towards healing, towards being, um, towards embracing your feminine side, towards being emotional, being open, being vulnerable, having this this deep loving connection with the with the feminine, you know, getting used to that energy. Um, and, and so, so we are very proud of you because we do see how vulnerable you guys are right now. We do see that you're wanting to come through with a message and, you know, it's just, it's a huge improvement and, and we're really, um, we're supporting you. You know, we're really, we're, we're really proud. We, we notice, we feel you doing the healing work. We feel your vulnerability and we're, we're really proud of you for it. Um, I've, I've also channeled just, you know, talking to others and also just ch mostly just channeling, you know, um, picking up on my own twin flame um, as a divine feminine and and picking up on just the collective um, masculines. I've channeled a lot of secrets, some are, some which are very dark. You know, those secrets um, might include karmic partners. It might include drug use, alcohol use. Some of you guys are, are going through addiction and recovery. Um, some of you, you know... you basically just have some very dark secrets um and i think what what the feminines would like you to know is is that we know about it already like we're we're very intuitive and in this you know the telepathic communication is just so strong right now that it's it's like i can i can feel i can feel what my twin flame is going through i can just look in and, and see you know what he's you know for the most part i mean if sometimes it's kind of up and down but but for the most part i feel like we can just kind of look in and see what you're going through right now and so many of us have already channeled these um, these secrets. Many of us already know what these secrets are, or we know what they're regarding. Um, and I feel like this, you know, I feel like these secrets, along with with guilt, maybe about the, um, the interactions that you guys had, or you know, fear. Because again, it's not always it's 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 both. It you know, if a relationship goes bad, it it's not just one person's fault. You know what I mean? So for many of you, you know, maybe your feminine left you. Maybe she was the runner. You know, that does happen where it's the woman that's the runner. It seems like it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of, ar they, you know, there can be arguments in twin flame relationships. Um, not always, but, but you know, it, it's twin flame relationships are all about vulnerability. And so some people um, have a harder time getting to that vulnerable space. Um, so, so basically, the feminines just want you to know, like, we've, we've channeled the secrets. We, we know about the secrets. We know about, about the darkness. We know about... The huge life changes we're going through, even if we haven't physically like seen it, we, we can we can telepathically feel it and we're transmuting for you and, and we're doing all we can to, to send you healing, supportive energy. And I think many of you have been wanting to send messages to us, wanting to communicate in the physical world finally, because you know the telepathic communication is so strong. Um, but but you stop yourselves out of out of pride or fear or you know guilt or you know these secrets you're scared of how we'll react or um, you know maybe just whatever happened in the relationship is still causing fear if your feminine hurt you you maybe maybe you might still be having some fear like are things really different um, and and so we just we want you to come through with these messages we want you to be courageous and brave and. Um, and, and mentally strong, and, and we want you to come through with these messages, you know, we, we want you to know that even if it's messy, even if it's dark, um, we'll get through it together. We want to finally just be working on this together with you in the physical world. That's like, that's what we really want. We don't want to keep doing this astrally. We don't want to keep having to telepathically communicate or send text messages that, you know, I mean, I'm not sending text messages right now because I, I'm not able to, but but, you know, like for, I feel like some of you might be getting, I feel like that might be channeling a couple of you where you might be getting text messages from your twin flame and you're not talking to her. Um, and, and we want you to know, you know, we just want this message, these messages to come through. We just want mutual communication in the physical world. Finally, like we know the secrets, we know it's messy. We know it's going to take work. Um, we know there's, there's healing to be done. We know that we have to be open and honest and vulnerable with each other. Like we're aware of all of it. We just want to get this ball rolling finally. We want to talk to you finally. We want to get things out in the open finally and start working through it together. Um, 
So, so, so do, I mean, I know you guys are doing your best to let go of, of pride and fear, but, but, you know, we just, we want you to know that, that, that pride and fear, that pride and fear is just unfounded. There's just, there's not really, um, there's just no reason for it. You know what I mean? Because we are here, we do still love you and we do still support you. Um, and, you know, I mean, you're just basically, you're not hiding from your feminine as much as you think you are. She knows more than you, than you realize she does. And, and she, she forgives you and loves you and accepts you just as you are. Um, so yeah, so it's, so this is, you know, this is, it's time. It's just time is the main message I'm getting. That's, that's the message I'm seeing. Like, it's not, I mean, it's me too, but there's other feminines that I'm feeling right now. I see, <sighs> I see a woman with like curly hair. I'm trying to see if I can describe her. I don't even know if I can describe her actually, but um, but I see I see like I, I'm getting a sense of an, of a couple other twin flame females here that are that are basically upset. They're sad. They miss you. They love you. They just want you to come home. Like that's the main message. We just it's time. We just want you to come home. We do not care if you are having financial struggles or you're going through, you know, drug or alcohol rehab, or there's more that you need to get through. We get it. Life happens. We want to get through it with you. We want to support you and work through it with you. We do not need you to be completely financially stable and completely perfect and have all your shit together to come to us. You know, you are human and you're never going to have everything all figured out. You're never going to have it together. So please let go of the control issues. Let go of the pride. Let go of the fear. Let go of the need to be perfect. Let go of the need to have everything figured out and just take this leap of faith and message us, talk to us, get things moving. Just come home to us finally. That is what we really want. Okay. So again, I mean, I know it seems like blabbing, but again, I'm channeling. So, so keep that in mind that, that, you know, you probably get even more information when I'm talking than you do from the actual cards. All right. So for the, for the masculines watching, what does your feminine want you to know? What does your feminine want you to know about where she's at? Is that what she wants you to know? Okay. These cards stood out, so. All right. Let's see what to make of this. I do want to add to that, though. Like, I mean, um, not to not to scare anybody or anything like that, but I do want to add that that many um. Many of us have soulmates coming in this year. And, you know, I have a soulmate coming in. I haven't met him yet, but I have a new soulmate who's supposedly coming in that's gonna treat me like a queen. And honestly, I'm just, I'm hoping my, my own twin flame comes in first and treats me like a queen instead. I want the person that I have known for literally thousands of years, the person that I find in love in every lifetime, the person that, you know, is just the one for me. Like he's, my twin flame is the one that I want, but I'm also not going to spend my life waiting for him. I'm not going to spend my, you know, I'm not going to spend years and years waiting and, and hoping and constantly getting my hopes up and thinking a message is coming through and, and having it just not come in. You know, it, it's hard for us when we think you're going to reach out and you don't. It really is. Um, I felt like that a lot the past couple of weeks where I, I, I feel so close to him that I, I can feel him thinking about messaging me. And, and when he doesn't, you know, it's, it leaves me here. It's heartbreaking. It's honestly heartbreaking. Um, so I'm not saying that to, to give you guys an ultimatum or scare you. I'm, I'm just saying that that's also where a lot of other female, um, feminine, female twin flames are um, that I've talked to where it's kind of like we love you and we want a life with you, but we're not going to wait years for it. We're not going to do this to ourselves forever. You know, like the time is now you, you got to come in or or we, we can't keep doing it, you know what I mean? Um, and, and so we do have these these new soulmates because it, it, this is a really potent time for love, especially with the, the pink full moon. It's a time of new beginnings. And, and so there are going to be a lot of um, like destined meetings basically where, you know, we might be bumping into you in public. Um, or, you know, like I said, I haven't met this new person yet, but I'm, I'm hoping my twin flame gets here before he does, I'm hoping it's my I'm hoping it's my twin flame that I end up with. That's the person I want to end up with. But like I said, I'm not going to spend my life waiting either. If someone comes in, you know, a month or so from now, and and he treats me like a queen, and my twin flame isn't doing jack shit, 
Like, I'm, I'm not going to reject someone who wants to give me the entire world and wants to, you know, cuddle with me and, and stay in bed all day watching movies with me and talking to me and getting to know me um, for someone who, who's literally, you know, not even talking to me and has me blocked in the physical world. You know what I mean? Like, as much as I love my twin flame, he, he has got to send that message now and he has to have the strength and confidence to come forward now um, if we're going to do this. And this is where many other feminines are at, you know, where... where this, this year is just a time for, um, for basically, for, um, how do I even, I, mean, I want to say like fate, destiny. This is a, this is a time for, um, for life partners to come in. So, so that's why I'm saying, that's why, I mean, I don't, I hate scaring people, but I'm, it's kind of like a warning almost where I feel like kind of guided to tell you guys, like, if you've been on the fence about messaging this person out of fear or ego or pride or, or whatever, um, you know, send the message first. And again, I'm not saying that it's your fault. You know, she it could have totally been that maybe she hurt you in the relationship and, and she apologized and you weren't ready to to receive it. Um, but, but the ball is in your court now is basically what I'm saying. No matter what happens, maybe she does have some things that she needs to work on, some healing she needs to do. And she needs to make things right with you. She needs to make it up to you for however she hurt you. You know what I mean? That's very possible. Um, but but the ball is still in your court. It, it's still you, you still need to be the one to send the message because that's just kind of where it's at collectively right now um, for the majority of us, um, especially if you're you're part of the group that I'm channeling. So um, so yeah. So there, so there's that. So so we're basically you know holding out for you and, and hoping that that you that you come through for us and that you you step up before these these new soulmates come in and sweep us off our feet. You know what I mean? Because we'd, we'd rather be with our twin flames. We'd rather, I'd much rather be with the person I've been with thousands of years than start over with someone new. You know what I mean? Um, so so yeah, so the, the time is now is, is the main message. Oh yeah, I already shuffled. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, Yeah, I got I got the five of wands here, and I mean I, I think that's why I was I was doing it actually because I think these cards wanted to say something. Five of wands and, and temperance, you know, temperance is kind of like balance, and I kind of see this as like she's. This is kind of like what I was just describing. This is the lotus. This is um the goddess Isis. This is um, and this is balance too. You know what I mean? She's she's looking away from this broken mirror. She's looking away from um whatever this this energy there's some sort of energy here i can't pick up on it, what, it, what it is but she's looking she's turning away from it and she's looking forward and she's in this very seductive kind of beautiful pose and and she's she's letting this cup run over she's letting this cup flow onto this um this lotus flower and it's kind of like love is coming out of this like love healing purity but i mean this is this is the healing that your feminine is sending you this is the love and the support and then just this unconditional feeling of acceptance she's she's trying to send you but she's here waiting to see what you do with it. You know what I mean? She's not like putting all her energy into pouring out. She's pouring it out. She's just, she's just here letting it flow from her. It's just part of who she is. You know, this love, sending you this love just comes so naturally to her. But here she is kind of seductive, waiting to see what you do with it, waiting to see if you're going to make a move finally. And then here we have, um, you know, two people that want to talk. You know, this woman, she wants to talk, but she's in pain and she's hiding it. This man wants to talk too, but he's also in pain and he's, um, you know, you see him, he's kind of, he's kind of turning his, his head away, kind of acting like he doesn't see it, you know what I mean? So, and he's in pain too, and he's, his pain needs to be acknowledged just as much as hers does. They're both in pain, but they're not talking. Um, and, and so, you know, it's just, it's time to talk. Um, all right, let's look at these cards here about what's going on with the feminine over the next seven days. I feel like the feminines are going through, I mean, we are going through some pain, but I feel like the feminines are accomplishing a lot right now. Um, I feel like in terms of, of like their life paths and, um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing just a lot of feminines just, just basically um, kind of step into their power and, and step into their confidence lately and, um, you, you know, try to get through things basically. And, and, you know, we have the lovers here where it's like you are on her mind. This this sort of seductive um, romantic relationship is on her mind. You know what I mean? She is thinking about you. And this is kind of, I see this as like a man taking control in the right ways. It's kind of like, he's not like when he lifts her chin up, he's not hurting her, but he's, um, I mean, he's not like, it's not like a harmful action. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like sexy and passionate. 
And so I feel like this is what she's wanting with you. She's wanting you to kind of take control, but in the right ways, not in like a controlling, aggressive, um, harmful way. She's wanting you to take control as in, you know, step into your divine masculine power, um, be confident, be straightforward, be honest, come through with these messages, um, you know, show her what you want. You see how, how she's, he's kind of not letting her look away. This could almost be someone who's like, also, I feel like for a couple of you, your, your, this girl might be pouting a little bit right now. She might be playing a little hard to get, and she's kind of wanting you to step forward and, um, and, and take charge in, in this, in this really beautiful, passionate way where it's like, you got this, this balance of, you see this man, he has this, this amazing balance of the feminine and masculine, um, qualities, you know what I mean? Um, he's, he's gentle with her, but he's, he's, um, assertive and honest at the same time and we have this i'm drawn to this light above his head where, where there might be a lot going on in the crown chakra right now for him um for the masculines i feel like maybe you're receiving a lot of guidance right now from your guides um just in telepathic communication as well but there's there's like an enlightening there's something some sort of enlightenment that's happening with your crown chakra i don't even know how to describe it but it's it's like it's being like healed i don't even know if all of you are like aware of it but there's some stuff going on with the crown chakra right now um, and this is, you know, this is what the, the feminine is going through. So this is the world. This is, um, you know, owls are about intuition and owls seem to be, um, showing up a lot in, in twin flame and soulmate readings lately. It seems like the owl is coming out a lot. Um, I feel like I keep seeing owls like telepathically, um, and, and owls do represent the goddesses, um, or like at least a few goddesses that are associated with owls. There's some Celtic goddesses and, um, and Norse goddesses as well that I know of that are associated with owls. You know, these are like a very mysterious, it could be like her spirit animal or your spirit animal as well, or this could be a messenger that's bringing you guys together. Um, you know, owls are very mysterious and they're intuitive and they're, um, you know, they just have a certain energy about them and, and she's tapping into that. And, and with this world card, it's, um, you know, she's accomplishing things in her life right now. Um, she's learning. She's she's a whole new person. You know, she's gone through this awakening process and she's changed drastically. She's she's become a better person for it. And and you know, you're you're a part of that. You're you're meeting her or your your support, your love, whatever your relationship you guys had, is a huge part of her growth and her awakening. You know what I mean? Like she she has this going on with her crown chakra too. You see this light right here? Look at that. You guys both, both your crown chakras are, I don't know if your crown chakras are connecting to your guides or to each other or the universe, but look at that. Look, both at the top of your heads, there's some stuff going on there. Could be third eye as well, but that's really interesting. And then we have the full moon too. So I think this is also saying um, on the 19th, she really stepped into her power. Something, maybe maybe like a major energy shift regarding your relationship, regarding um, her life, her job, career, um, you know, new perspective, those kind of things. There was just, there was some sort of new beginning and just these portals that were being opened on the 19th of this month. Um, so we have the, the, the world card. And, and so this is, you know, this is her being a new person. And this is, this is, you know, your support helped her. You're, you got her on her path in a lot of ways. Um, I mean, yes, she did the work, but, but it's like, you're telepathically supporting each other all the time. You know what I mean? Like when you think you're doing it on your own, you're not really doing it on your own and neither is she, she's not doing it on her own either. You're always, you know, telepathically there. You're always supporting her on some level, even if she's not always conscious of it. Um, but this is becoming the master of her destiny. She's, she's, um, you know, she's fulfilling her dreams, accomplishing goals. This is, this is like a new phase that she's going through where she might've been struggling before, but, but she's, She's reaching this new peak where, where, where she's, you know, things are, things are changing for her and she's in this Empress energy and this is abundance. This is, you know, possibly motherhood for some, um, fertility, you know, new things being birthed. This is, um, protection. She's, she's protecting you. You're protecting her. Um, there's just these rich flowers all around her and you see her, see how relaxed she is. See how confident and relaxed she is. She's not worried. Um, she's, she's trying not to worry about this connection. She's trying to just... She's trying to let go of, of any anger or any fear or any pain that she has and, and just love you unconditionally and just be supportive of you because, you know, she knows that, that what you're going through, that you're going through some really heavy, heavy stuff right now and, and she can feel it. And, and so she's trying not to um, overload you. She's trying not to um, 
not to not to put any any bad vibes out there she just wants to to support you and love you and send you this healing energy and she's so she's doing all she can to just relax and um and not overthink this connection not worry about what this connection is going to be she's trying to focus a little bit more on herself but at the same time she wants you back you know what i mean like she's she's okay she might be okay alone but it's like she's she's happier with a person she's happier as like a power couple you know what i mean um but she is she is relaxing and she's tuning into nature she's tuning into this this sort of like motherly caring um nurturing side and I feel like all the stuff that you're going through is kind of making her turn tune into this energy as well because she's worried about you. She wants to know that you're okay, you know? Like, she wants to be able to hold you and 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 keep you safe and, and to feel safe with you as well. And she wants to be able to just, you know, support you and love you. Um, and, and so she is worried about you right now and she is trying to send you this, this healing, loving energy and she's trying to be calm and not be overbearing and not... Um, not smothering, not like overthinking it, not worrying too much, but just just simply send you, just simply sending you, um, basically love. You know what I mean? She's just she's trying to she's she's trying to just send you love and and not um and and not get too lost in her head like she has in the past. You know what I mean? Um, and and she's aware. You know how that she, we're, we're, we're I think all of us are aware just just how um vulnerable these connections are, you know, and it's, it's necessary. The vulnerability is necessary. Um, I feel like towards the end of the month, though, she might get a little, this could be connected to finances, um, financial worries and insecurities. I also think that she's kind of going back and forth this week between the Empress energy being relaxed and being in this energy where she's worried and sad. You see, we have this, this angel, this, you know, this empathetic person who's, who's, who's knelt over and she just can't look at anything anymore. She can't handle anything anymore. Um, and this is, um, you know, this is, this is heartbreak. This is worrying too much. Um, she's not sure if, if things are worse than she thinks. And, and, you know, this could be, if there's a lack of communication, this could be part of it because it's, it's kind of scary for us when we channel things that you're going through. But we, we have to decipher it, you know what I mean? And just, it's so much easier if you just tell us straight up in the physical world what's going on. Because sometimes when we when we sometimes when we pick up something and we have to decipher it, we overthink it and we get scared and, and our anxiety kicks up. And, and so it's so much better to communicate physically so we can be so much clearer, you know what I mean? Because, you know, telepathic communication, it just isn't foul proof. Um, and, and so this could be this could be more secrets coming out towards the end of the month too, where maybe um, maybe maybe if you guys aren't communicating yet, more more telepathic secrets, more you know tuning into this energy more and 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 worrying about you. You know what I mean? Like I've been really worried about my twin flame, and I know that a lot of others have been as well. And and from what I've channeled, you know, I I've talked to quite a few women that are in that space, and and just other readers on YouTube are saying the same thing. You know, it, it's like you know we're transmuting. We feel this energy. Um, and so this is the feminine being kind of lost in her fear. Um, you know, negative beliefs, um, maybe even manifesting a negative reality because she's getting lost in her thoughts a little bit. Um, you know, just maybe picking up on stuff you're going through and overthinking it and worrying and, and she's just not sure how to decipher it and it's getting exhausting. Um, and she's just, she's lost in her head. Um... And this, you know, honestly, I mean, this is the kind of the case when, when our masculines don't communicate too, is, is we get kind of like, like, is this, is this real? Is this ever going to happen? Is he ever going to come forward? Like, are we ever going to do this? You know what I mean? Like it is incredibly depressing and heartbreaking to go on this roller coaster ride and have our hopes lifted up and then just be let down, you know what I mean? And so we're really hoping for communication now. Um, and, and so, yeah, so she's, she's in this, this. So she's in very conflicting energy the next week, basically. Um, she's in this very conflicting energy between the Empress and the Nine of Swords over the next week, where she's kind of just, kind of just, about, like I said, just back and forth, where she's, um, where, you know, she's she's in her power, she's, she's on her path, she's doing what she wants, she's intuitive. Both your crown chakras are opening up. Things are happening for you guys. But then, you know, it's kind of like a little roller coaster. Like, okay, is he going to send the message, though? Like, 
like super like this this passion like happiness like oh it's finally coming in and then it doesn't come in and the next day she's depressed and then the next day there's telepathic communication and she's excited and hopeful and then there's no communication and she's depressed again or you know this might not be communication for all of you it could just be like her wanting a commitment maybe you guys are already together and she's hoping for a commitment or she's hoping for for some sort of taking it to the next level and in whatever you know your situations are going to vary but but to basically just taking it to the next level and, and so yeah so there's this kind of roller coaster you know powerful relaxed loving motherly nurturing um sending you unconditional love support staying true to herself being confident in herself staying true to her path and who she is and what she wants in the world um going out and making things happen for herself putting herself out there um having fun living life basically just in her power but at the same time you know fearful and and sad and missing you and 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 wanting you back finally and um and being confused and, and wondering if it's real if it's just in our head are you really coming back um is this connection you know do you even really love her do you just 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 anxiety is plaguing her you know what i mean and she's going back and forth between this energy um, and this could also be, I feel like it's mostly going back and forth, but I feel like for some of you, this could be that she's in her, her Empress power energy, um, towards this time, like the 22nd to like 27th, and then something happens maybe where, um, maybe just lack of communication or her telepathically picking up something or her finding out something through mutual friends or something that just kind of devastates her and just kind of leaves her in this place where, where she doesn't really know what to do. Um, but I feel like this is you and I feel like this is some sort of shift that happens um, towards the end of the month where hopefully this is a message um, or this is this is you know the king of pentacles is someone who's very stable someone who's mature responsible abundant um secure confident in themselves they're they're going to take responsibility for themselves and and so i feel like this is really both of you guys kind of owning up and and being re taking responsibility for your part in the relationship and your part and what happened um and i feel like you know this is this is a hard worker you you're you know your 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 hard work is starting to pay off your your hard work is really starting to pay off um and then, so I think this is success for you. If you're sending a message or you're making some kind of commitment towards the end of the month, this is some sort of success for you where it's like your work, the energy, the effort, all this, this whole journey, it's, it's starting to pay off for you finally. Um, I think this is also you supporting her. You know, we kind of have her supporting you around this time, sending you love, sending you healing. And I feel like, you know, twin flames are always supporting each other. So I think when she gets kind of like stuck in this energy a little bit where she's, she's overthinking, I think that's when you either you feel it and you come through the, with this message or you just telepathically this could just be you telepathically supporting her and, and offering her this this um this like strength this security this stability it's kind of like you're like kind of like i get this like feeling of like holding her and letting her cry in your arms you know what i mean like where you're just solid you're not going to be scared you're not going to be intimidated you are a real man you're not going to be scared off by by this um, by her pain and, and by all the, 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 the energy that you have to, you guys have to work through together. You're not going to be intimidated by it. You're going to, you're going to stick it out. You're going to be strong. Um, and so this is you sending that support back. You know, this is, this is you guys mutually supporting and loving each other. Let me pull some more cards. This card apparently wants to stick out too. Keeps coming up. Give your relationship a chance. I got that for the feminines as well, actually. Um, work on your partnership. You know, like they want to work on it. You want to work on it. So, so take a leap of faith and work on it. It's time. Do it. It's going to be messy. You're not going to have your shit together. Maybe she doesn't have her shit together either. Maybe there's financial struggles. Maybe there's, there's, you know, maybe there's just a lot to work through, but work on it together. You know what I mean? You have these two angels here. So it's kind of like two very empathetic people, two healers, two very big hearted people supporting each other. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just get through this alone, and she can't get through it alone either. I mean, you can, but it's going to make it so much harder. And I think what we want the masculines to realize is just how much easier it would be just getting through it together, because we have this mutual support in twin flame relationships, soulmate relationships too, but twin flame relationships especially are just so strong, so powerful that it's like, when you guys are together, there's just like this healing light. There's like this this angelic kind of energy, like this this purity, this healing. And so... 
you know, the, the 3D worldly issues like finances and everything else just becomes so much easier because when you're together, you have this pure, unconditional love, this high vibration, and you start stepping into it where things just get easier for easier for you in all areas of your life. So, you know, let go of the old 3D perspectives that you have to be perfect to come into a relationship or you have to be this or that or you have to have it all together before you can be with someone. Just let go of all of that. Let go of all the control and start working on the partnership now, start communicating now, start loving each other and supporting each other and helping each other heal now. It is time for that, you guys. We we all need each other right now. There's, you know, there's some good things going on. There's some really good shifts, but there's also a lot of huge life changes that people are processing. I personally haven't had any like huge, huge life changes other than starting my YouTube channel and getting on my path. I wouldn't say that I have it, that I've had any like huge life changes, but um but you know, but still, it's it's still some heavy energy. You know what I mean? It's it's still, you know. All right, what else should we know? What does she? Let me see. What does she want us to say? Okay. What does the feminine? What do the feminines want to say? What do they? Or what should I? How do I? How do I word that? What do the feminines, what do the feminines want you to know about what they're wanting, what they're feeling, um, what they, where they want the relationship to go? Like, can you give me, um, romantic angel cards, can you please show me for the masculines that are watching this video, show me where their feminine wants this relationship to go. Show me what she's, where's, where's her heart right now? Where's her soul? Where are her, um, her feelings? You know what I mean? What kind of energy is she just feeling right now? Where's the masculine right now? That feels right. Wedding. She might be wanting a marriage. She's wanting a commitment. She's wanting a um it might not be it might be marriage for some of you, but I I'm that's the kind of the general energy I got from the read was she was wanting some side of kind of commitment. Like if you guys are together, she wants to take things to the next level. If you guys are in separation, she wants to get the ball rolling. The ball is in your court. She just wants communication. She's wanting um, you know. She's possibly having dreams about this. She's possibly um, fantasizing about this or dreaming about it or just thinking about what a future with you would be like. And um, and she's wanting, basically this is just saying the next step. So don't have a panic attack. It might not be an actual wedding. It might just be some kind of commitment where it's like you let her know that you're serious and that you, you, you know, you want, here's that card again, <laughs> that you want this to go to the next level with her. Okay, I'll just pull these cards out one by one. Okay, so this is what she's feeling. She's she's trying to stay optimistic. This is also offering um, gifts and and you know, um, incense, sage, just any kind of offerings to her gods and goddesses and angels, and and praying about you, praying for you, um, you know, protecting you, healing you, trying to trying to just um communicate with you with you know mutual guides and um. And, and trying to stay positive overall, trying not to not to get depressed or, or lost in negative thoughts, you know, trying to stay above that nine of swords energy, but it's kind of hard and it's a bit of a roller coaster right now. Um, but she is trying to have faith in you and in the relationship and she's trying to be strong here and she's trying to, to stay in this, this loving, healing energy and, and keep believing in you, you know what I mean? Um, and, and yeah, like we said, work on the partnership. She wants to give this a chance, you know, even if it's messy, even if there's some darkness to get through, she wants to work on it. She wants to get through it together. That's the, the key thing. Just getting through it together is what is what's important to her. Um, retreat. She wants to disconnect from the world. Um, if there are third party situations, she wants those to come to an end now and she wants it to just be you and her. Um, if there's, you know, just anything that was distracting you or taking you away from her, she she wants your attention now and she wants to um basically I kind of sense this as like just spending like a few days in bed together, just cuddling and and, and you know, talking and watching movies and getting to know each other and and he helping each other heal and and just, you know, taking things to the next level. Like you guys have both you both need to rest, and this is her wanting that rest, but she's not wanting to do it alone. She's not wanting to, she's not getting that rest alone. You know what I mean? She, she's wanting that with you. She's wanting to, she's wanting the closeness with you. She's wanting to maybe um, go camping with you or go on some sort of retreat with you. 
Um, just something where you guys can kind of detach from the world because she's tired of outside interference. She's tired of other people um, interfering with your relationship, whether this was a third party or this was, um, you know, a job or this was, um, you know, maybe your own. It could be hers, too. It could be her own um, fears or insecurities or yours or ego or pride or just whatever. Whatever was separating you guys, she, she wants to get away from that and have it just be you two. Just this pure, vulnerable loving open honest connection that's what she wants with you and she wants to just to just focus on on you guys and, and not have any outside interference anymore and and she's trying to trust she's trying to trust you um she's trying to to open herself up and, and trust that you're not going to hurt her she's trying to um let me see what i can see in this card I'm just looking at this card, sorry, because I'm trying to see if I can get anything specific from it. Because I know that I feel like Cupid is kind of it's kind of relevant here. It's kind of like she knows he's back there supporting them and bringing them together, but she's allowing it. She's not worried about it. She's like, okay, that's cool. Um, and he's got this wand over here. He's pointing, so it's kind of like his energy is kind of focused elsewhere a little bit. But he's looking at her too, and and she wants his attention. She's just you know she wants his attention is the main thing. Is is she? Um, and she's trying to have faith in, in, in you and in the relationship and in the universe and your guides that brought you guys together and and then the whole thing, the whole twin flame journey. She is trying to have faith in all of it and she is trying to trust you to 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 be the man that you that she, you know, sees you as, to, to be this this honest, confident, um to, to be honest both with, with her basically to be to be someone who's going to be vulnerable with her and open with her and someone who's going to to make the effort for her someone who's going to step up and and be supportive of her you know what i mean like she's taking this leap of faith and she's hoping you're you're going to be there to catch her basically um and and she's trusting you even though she's scared and a little shaky she's still she's trusting you she's trusting you not to hurt her She's trusting you to, um, just to show up for her, you know, she's just, she's, she's doing, she's trusting you. And this card keeps wanting to come out too. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So she, she's not sure if it's safe to, to love or not, but she's taking the risk. She's taking it for you. Um, and she is opening her heart. She is, um, she is allowing her, her, herself to be vulnerable again. And, you know, twin flames can feel each other in the heart chakra area, like, I, I mean, I can feel mine um, in the heart chakra. Like I can, I can feel that sometimes during telepathic communication, where it's kind of like being on ecstasy almost. And and so I kind of take that card to kind of symbolize that as well, where she's opening up to that feeling again. You know, she's allowing that feeling in. She's she might have had some telepathic blocks on you before. She might have been guarded before. She might have been uncertain before. But but she's open now. She's open hearted now. She's allowing the telepathic telepathic communication to come in again. What kind of healing messages does the Divine Feminine want the Masculine to know? What kind of healing messages do we want the Masculine to know? What's the healing? I think this one stood out to me. The mouse. You may feel strong. You may feel small, but you are stronger than you know. Like, you got this. You got this. You are courageous. You are brave. Just, just take a leap of faith and step out of your comfort zone. The dolphins, we infect you with our joy. You know, she does want you to be happy. She wants you to, to, um, to be lighthearted, to be, um, to open up to this energy and these, these emotional depths, basically. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> All right, this is what she wants you to know. The butterfly, spread your beautiful wings and fly. So again, the message is clear. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's time to fly. It's time to be yourself. It's time for you to step forward. It's time for you to, to, to get what you want out of life. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to, to, to grow. It's time for communication, for, for true love and the physical. It's time for this relationship. It's, it's time to spread your wings and and fly and and just be yourself it's time to step out of your comfort zone um it, it's time to step into to this new loving energy um and free your pain the elephant this is ganesh too um i feel like i feel like ganesh's energy whenever i see elephants too you know i always think of like an elephant charging forward i saw i had a vision of ganesh once and he was charging forward 
there were actually two elephants that we think were me and my twin flame, and, and the elephants were charging forward, and um, I heard, I felt Ganesh say, you know, be the elephant you used to be, like, be the adventurous, free-spirited, um, you know, just driven woman that you used to be, and it, it stood, it always stood out to me, and I, I kind of sense this as Ganesh, you know, that, that, that your, your feminine is wanting you to get into this Ganesh energy, she's wanting you, this is like, hi, John the Conqueror, this is Ganesh, this is this is Thor, this is Odin, this is, um, you know, this is the energy of the gods, this is the energy of, of these powerful beings, and, and she wants you to charge forward, she wants you to be brave and fearless and, and charge forward and step out of your comfort zone, and she wants you to free your pain, she wants you to let go of the pain, let go of the guilt, um, release it, you know what I mean, because she's already forgiven you, so she wants you to forgive yourself too. White horses, wow, okay, that's pretty cool because I never get this card, and this card is actually really symbolic for me and my own twin flame. I don't even know if he realizes it is, but I used to see it all the time. Um, when we were in this astral battle, I kept seeing these white horses charging through, when it's the same energy here, charging through, coming through. Um, white horses to me are just, um, they're just so beautiful, and, and they just mean a lot for me and him, and it just, to me, it's 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 charging through. It's basically sending this message. It's, it's, it's um... It's just, oh, it's just amazing energy. I don't even know how to describe it, but it says, take up the reins of your life. She wants you to take control of your life. She wants you to take your power back. She wants you to stop being victim of third-party situations, of toxic, abusive people, of, of um, you know, controlling people in your life, um, controlling family members, dark family members, negative family members. Um, people that want to keep you apart, you know, people are always going to want to keep the flames apart. That's just how, that's how people are. Um, and, you know, people are jealous of that kind of connection with that kind of light. Even with soulmate connections, people are still jealous because that is still a really potent, beautiful connection. Um, and so she wants you to take control of your life. Let go of these toxic patterns, toxic people. Let go of fear. Let go of ego. Let go of pride. Um, let go of everything holding you back and be this elephant, this butterfly, this horse spirit and just charge through and be the man you want to be. Be the man you are. Be the man that you are on a soul level. Um, you know, justify our faith that we've had in you. Justify this this trust and this faith that we've that we've had in you and, and come through for us and stand by our side as our, our kings, you know, and we will be your queens. That's what you want is this king and queen relationship. This powerful power couple kind of relationship is what we want. So take control of your life and we're going to support you and love you the whole way through it. Just talk to us and we'll be there um, as you do this. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're, 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 it takes a lot of strength, but we're, we're there 100% of the way with you in the physical world and the astral world. We're, we're completely supporting you 100% of the way. Um, the ant, let go of feeling alone. You are a vital part of the hill. You are, um, you are important. You are very important. And, and your feminine wants you to know that, that you are very important, that you are, that you're needed in the world, that your energy is needed in the world. And it's 444. So that's also angelic guidance around you. Um, angels around you, angels supporting you, um, angels helping you heal. And, and so the ant is, you know, let go of feeling alone. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling separated, um, meditate and, and get into this space where you just connect with all that is. Um, get into this space where you just, you realize how important your role is as a healer, as a, um, I want to say as a shaman. I guess that's for some of you. I don't know who, but but as a, I keep wanting to say as a shaman. So <laughs> as a shaman, um, maybe some of you are shamans and you haven't realized it yet. It's possible. Um, I mean, you have some gifts that you haven't tapped into is, is kind of what I'm feeling is that you feel small, but you're really, you feel like this small little insignificant, insecure, lonely ant, and you're this elephant and your feminine wants you to know that because your feminine sees you in this light. Despite everything, she's still doing her best to trust you and have faith in you. And she sees you as this elephant, as this white horse, um, as this, 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 you know, as this, this honest, vulnerable, amazing man. And she just wants you to see that yourself that way. She wants you to stop seeing yourself as this aunt and start realizing how important you are to her, how much she loves you. You know what I mean? Like you guys have so much doubts about how much we, how much we love you. You have so much doubts about the relationship sometimes. Um, I know for a long time, it was like this, this fight between the ego and the soul. And, and recently you've gotten more of a balance where you're, you're not in denial anymore. And we just, we, 
you know, we want you to stay that way where you, we realize, you know, just how important you are to us, where you realize just how, um, how we see you, you know what I mean? Like to, to get past this insecurity and the fear that just is unfounded, you know? I mean, yes, there's things to work through. I'm not saying that, that everything that, you know, that, that she's going to just be okay with everything you've done or haven't done, because it's going to vary for, for many of you, you know, some of you may have, you know, cheated or done whatever else. And so, yeah, you got to work through it. I'm not saying it, it's, it's going to be really like simple, but, but she's wanting to work through it is, is what I'm getting, you know what I mean? Like, she's just wanting you to really step forward and make the effort and show her you want her and you love her. Um, she's wanting you to claim her in a way, you know what I mean? Like, she's wanting you to step up and really claim her. Um, and then we have the guinea pig, heal your heart. She's wanting you to heal. She's, um, I see her, it's kind of funny. She's looking at you like you're the guinea pig. It's kind of cute though. She's like smiling, but she's seeing you in like this gentle way too, where she's like, you know, she wants to heal you. She wants to, to comfort you, to, to cuddle with you, to support you, to be there for you. Um, and, and you just, she wants to heal your heart because she knows that you have a good heart and that you just, that there's been a lot of damage and that there's been a lot of toxic people around you. And then there's been a lot of toxic situations. And, um, and she knows who you are, you know what I mean? She knows, she knows all the darkness in you, all the light in you, all the good, all the bad. And she embraces you and accepts you just as you are, um, it's kind of like that quote from the movie First Night where Sean Connery says, you can't love people in slices. You've got to take the good with the bad or you've got to take the bad with the good. And that's kind of what she's saying here. I feel like is, is you can't love people in slices. She loves you just as you are. Um, and then she realizes that, you know, that your heart is very damaged and she does want to help you heal. And her heart is damaged as well, you know, and, and so you guys are doing that together. Well, on the giraffe, walk tall and see the overview look at the bigger picture, look at, um, you know, get out of this day-to-day -day muck, this, this day-to-day, -day, um, energy, you know, the masculines are going through some heavy energy right now, and we want you to look, 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 walk tall, see the bigger picture, um, step into this energy, and then we've got the buffalo, run free, be free, be the butterfly, be, um, you know, be this energy. I keep, I just keep wanting to bring these out because there's more. I look at the bottom of the deck and I'm like, no, there's more messages. Like it just keeps coming. Maybe you masculines have a lot of spirit animals right now that you're feminine sending you. The spider cut the web of fear. It only serves to entangle you. Um, again, like what we're talking about, let go of fear, let go of pride, let go of ego, let go of he said, she said, let go of you were right, I was wrong, or, you know, you were, who was wrong, who was right, whatever, just let go of all of that, let go of all the control and all the fear and just step forward, the fear is not serving you, this, this old energy is not serving you, let it go so that we can move forward together, um, the hedgehog prickles push one, um, prickles push people away, show your softer side, so she wants this vulnerability and openness and honesty from you, um, and then, what else do we have here? The Raven. Mystery and magic. It's a magical, potent time with this, with this moon. With this, um, with this, wow, I like how they're laid out. It just looks, it looks right how they're laid out. I really like that energy, whatever it is, um, it's, it's good. Um, you see the sparkles all around the Raven. Um, you see him looking up, he's flying just like the butterfly and it's, um, this is connection to the gods, and she's wanting you to take in this energy of the gods, of Ganesh, of, of the Norse gods, the Celtic gods, the Egyptian gods, um, whatever gods you relate to, or angels, um, you know, could be, could be Michael, could be, just, this is, this divine masculine energy she's wanting you to step, step into, you know, so that you can, um, have the courage and faith to come forward to her, and to, to realize that you deserve a lot more than what you're used to, um, and so we have the raven, you know, this is, this is mystery and magic. And this, like I said, it's a potent time with this, um, with this, with this new, or the full moon that we just had on night, the 19th, the, um, the pink Libra moon. It's a really potent time. There's, um, it's just, it's a time of new beginnings. It's a really potent time for love. It's a potent time to reconciliation. And, and so, you know, take that leap of faith and, and, and dive into that, that full moon energy. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment um, if it resonates. Let me know what you guys think. If you want a private reading, my information is below. Um, it, it's posted in the comments.
or not, sorry, not in the comments, just below. Um, I have my email address up. I have my PayPal info. So feel free to email me if you if you have any questions or any comments or anything about readings or the channel or whatever else. All right, thank you guys for watching. And have a good day. Some some cleansing healing energy before I go. <sighs> It's a good time for you guys to light some sage or something too, if you guys have any. Or, or I've got lavender, mugwort, and peppermint in this one, but you can light whatever you want. You know, um, it's just it's a good time. You guys have a lot on your on your your mind on your chest right now. I feel a lot of weight on you guys. Um, and again, we're really proud of you. We're like we're just we're impressed. We're we're just we're in awe. We're impressed that you're. You're being vulnerable, you know what I mean? We feel these emotions. We feel you finally tapping into your more feminine side and allowing yourself to be vulnerable. And it means so, so much to us that you're that you're embracing your feminine qualities, that you're embracing this loving, romantic, vulnerable side of yourself. It means a lot to us. Um, and we sense, you know, this pain and this, this, this heavy energy you're going through as well. So it's a really good time to light some sage or light some sort of herbs. Um, see how the smoke's going? That's really interesting. It's like going in like slow motion. That's kind of... That's weird. That's interesting, though. I don't know what that's about, but it's pretty cool. Um, but but it is time to. Um, you have a lot. You got to take the world, the weight of the world, off your shoulders right now. Stop overthinking and worrying about everything. You know, let yourself just be um, human and just just relax a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Oops. Shit. Okay. All right. Bye.